I have to be very quick when I show you guys this stuff because this is going to get very confusing. So I'm gonna go to BIOS first, right? So right now it's quite cold, um, 19 ambient. I've got it just really quickly because I want my temps to rise too fast. Um, so I've got maybe like 15 minutes before the sun starts shining really badly and screwing up the results, but yeah. So I've been doing some testing and I found some interesting behavior that I think you guys would find really, really, you know, pretty much telling. So notice how I've done a OC where I've gotten 5.5 stable right now. I'm using AVX negative one. And that's because in a heavy AVX load, the current draw increases so much that um, temp shoot up and generally speaking, you won't be able to hold your max SSE frequency. So notice how this is definitely AVX offset one right on the dock. Now look what happens I go to the bench. R23. I just want to show you guys that BIOS thing just for proof because um, it can be argued like, you know, I didn't set it or whatever, but yeah. So this is definitely AVX negative one. And just watch what happens in a bit. Just watch. Because this is starting to make sense as to why Cinebench stable OCs are not actually stable in real time. And you guys saw AVX1, AVX negative 1, for AVX in AVX2, and then AVX512, negative 1 is set as well. Obviously, these ships don't have 512, but you know what I mean. Like, I just hit them both. So, there's definitely offset in this. Like, there's definitely AVX offset. Now, watch this. So... R23 real quick. I'm going to go to hardware info. You guys saw the clocks. I mean, I shouldn't have to do it again because you guys saw I loaded in with, but okay, so just gonna, what the fuck? Okay, I too many sensors. I have to restart. Now it's hard locked. Yeah, you know, if you don't, if you load too many sensors at once, you have like these weird hard locks, I've noticed, because um, of the SPD hub. Like, it's annoying. Start again. Wasting my time, man. Come on. Just gotta be careful. Can't load too many things at once in the beginning. So just like one app at a time, basically. No, that's a legit thing, by the way. Like, um, with D5 I've noticed like when you when you try like when apps read the hub like too many apps at once try to read different sensors and stuff it's like it just completely screws it like it just goes crazy um, alright so gonna open up hardware info first just to get out of the way okay, that's open closing up afterburner and intel thingy just gonna go straight to the bench. First action, let me max up the fans just to make sure we have proper cooling here. I can only do this testing now because it's really cold. So like my ambience are really low. So as you can see, liquid temp is like 23C, ambience like 18. So this is safe, this is completely safe. Um, and by the way, you know, these OCs have actually kind of, um, I've kind of checked for degradation and there's no discernible as of this time because I'm hitting the same numbers as I was in the very beginning of the ship, so I think I'm good, um, which is actually very, very promising. So, 5.4 still, oh sorry, 5.5, 4.4, um, 4.8, and AVX negative one, technically. So 10 minutes throttling, so this should run a few times, so look at the temps and look at the clocks. So what do you see? 5.5 gigahertz. Straight through. 5.5, 4.4, 4 4.8. Now you can see like there's one section where it's like, yep, those are like nanosecond drops to like 5.4. I don't know how these ships self-regulate, but there's these weird drops that you can't really even avoid. Um, you know, right now we're nice and cold. You can see we're at like 78 like min temp 16 cl1 core yeah. so right now is like ideal for these te these tests to be, to be run because um if it was much warmer i would not find this safe because we're at like 1.26 volts on vr vr so 
But yeah, notice how this is 5.5 gigahertz in a negative one offset. So what the hell, right? That makes absolutely no sense. Like, I've been running the test out for like a minute. And it hasn't been dropping. So what does it tell you guys? Cinebench R23 is not an... Like, it doesn't read as an AVX workload on Rappelec. It doesn't. Now, I don't know if it's my board alone that does this. But yeah, as from what I can see, this, this proves that it does not recognize R23 as a... Um, as a AVX load. It just doesn't. Um, now, I proved you guys there in R23 with this overclock. But I'm not going to run this for what I'm about to show you because that's going to be way too much voltage. Um, and I don't want to risk... I don't want to risk running it if I don't have to. So I'm going to go to my safer OC, the more conservative one. So, and I'm going to show you again. Um, so I want to show you now, actually, we'll do this first. So we'll load up 5.4. I'm going to show you, actually, we're going to do this. Zero. Zero. So no offsets, no offsets, right? This is max frequency, no AVX offset. So zero, zero. Let's go. Okay, so I'll show you in, in R23. Obviously, it's okay. R23 obviously is not going to offset because it it's got a zero offset. There's no reason why it would, right? I'm going to show you though in OCCT what we'll see. I'm sorry, this video is scruffy, guys. I would have liked to set up the cam, like the the tripod for the camera and everything um just to have it like you know more clean and everything but like i really can't risk the temps and like this footage because this is like i have to go i have to record this like this has to be recorded like people have to see this um because this is really weird so okay so i'm gonna go to so i'm not gonna bother r23 because there's no point um you've already now seen that r23 did not affect the 5.5 gigahertz, 5.5 did not downclock. It did not. It, it did not care. So, I'll show you now though. Um, OCCT, this will care. So, let me just set the fans. Da -da. Max them out. Okay. So, at 5.4. 4.2, 4.6. Um, remember, no offsets now. So I'll show you. So we have small, small data sets. So small FFTs, um, extreme mode, and then variable load. Um, all cores obviously activated, and then all threads. Sorry, AVX2. So I'll show you what AVX2 does. So watch this. This is going to be really weird. Okay. So get ready. All right. So we have liquid temp 23C right now, so we're good. We can start, we're nice and cold. Ambient's still quite low, so let's do this while there's still time. This, this is stable, this is stable. This, this is stable, by the way, sorry. Um, this is not gonna crash, but you'll see what happens. So watch as it loads up. Now watch, okay. So immediately you notice power goes crazy. Current goes crazy, two, three amps, right? So. We're at a real AVX2 load, okay? Temps are still manageable, but look at this. 5.3, 5.3, all the way down, 4.2s, 4.6. So 4.2 sticking, well, that's our, that's our clock anyway. 4.6 is ring, that's sticking. 5.3, our peak core frequency, is not sticking at all. We were at 5.4 set, and we're sitting at 5.3, and that's it. And this is zero AVX offset, zero. No AVX offset. So, Raptalix seems like it's forcing an AVX offset, even when it's not there. And this is not just the case for this. I'm going to bet that even 5.5, if I said that and ran this, it would downclock to 5.3. Not to 5.4, to 5.3. Now, watch when I go to um, SSE mode. So, SSE is so normal now, like now, just like the regular, like, I guess whatever gaming uses and stuff. So, and like some memory tests and stuff. Very few apps use AVX2, but like some apps do, but you'll see now what SSC does. So SSC should be like completely fine because we're still quite cold. Um, I've noticed too, when you get when you get really warm, 
Raptor Lake starts down clocking as well towards the uh, base or core. So look, SEC activated it. Now, what? Like 5.4. So now it's ticking. Obviously much lower current load. So 200 amps now, 250 watts. So we've dropped 25 watts, maybe three watts almost. Um, dropped like 25 amps on, on average. And um, temps are obviously much lower now, like, you know, as you'd expect. And now we're at 5.4. So, um, yeah, that's really, really weird um, behavior, but that's what Raptor Lake seems to do. So I'm gonna shut this off now. Now, I, I actually wanna show you guys, you know, I'll do it for like a short burst. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna do it. Screw it, I'll do it, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what 5.5 looks like. Now, this is gonna be 300 watts. So this is gonna get very warm, but I'll show you guys for like 25 seconds. I think it's, I think it's relatively safe. I'll, I'll, I'll 25 ish seconds of 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 AVX2 with my 5.5 OC. Now it's gonna down clock, but it's gonna run warm for obvious reasons. Um, I don't like doing this stuff, but for like you know a few seconds, it's worth the the data and the the video footage. So 5.5 loaded now. I'm actually going to go and I'm going to set zero because I'm very confident this will down clock. I'm at a point where I want to say don't even bother running offset because there's no point. Like, because it's going to down clock regardless. Like, in SSE it's going to be stable and in AVX it's going to down clock regardless. So there's no point running offset. Like, the offset does nothing. It, it means nothing. And if you said, if you said negative one, it's going to go to 5.3 anyway. So it's like, it doesn't matter. Like, We're almost at 19 to ambient, so it's getting warmer, slowly but surely. So we have only like maybe five more minutes left to record. Um, I'm not going to run these tests in like 25C, guys. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. Like, um, I do not test AVX or anything. I don't, I don't do any heavy CPU stuff when it's not um, early morning or night time. And I've I've mentioned this before in the past. I'm a firm believer that there's if you can't cool like you know. 270 watts 300 watts um with your setup in like really really heavy like really really like warm conditions just don't run it then just run it you know when it's safe like when you can run it it's fine like so i'm gonna go to OCC again put it up um max the fans real quick just to get some the liquid temps down real quick okay maxing so 5.5, 4.4, 4.8, as you saw before. And um, as you know, um, we had it on a zero offset. So this should be the all core frequency. So AVX2 locked in. And uh, so 5.5s, CPU packages 26C, 30C-ish, well, it should come down. It was liquid tempest 24C, so it should come down, yeah. It should definitely come down. There we go, it's coming down. So, it jumps up when you do, when you do, when you do any workloads, it jumps up. So, whenever I click something, it's gonna jump up. But yeah, so let's, let's activate soon. I'm just going to start it up. And um, you'll see in a, a short while what I mean. Okay, let me, yeah, so let me get, okay, so check. 300 watts, look, look, quick look. 5.3, look. 5.3, all the way down. Yeah. So you see it? You see it? Okay, cool. And you see it was 5.4? So you saw while running was 5.4 on the equals, oh sorry, 4.4 the equals, 5.3 on the equals. So the equals in the ring stayed, but, so as you can see, the E core stayed, the mins, and the ring stayed, but the P cores, all the way down, just like that, done. The moment it's, the moment it's like 250 amps, no, done. So, um, yeah, and I'm hoping that didn't cause any damage because it's like 20 seconds. We had 90C for like two seconds, so I think we're good. But yeah, so 
that's the data and that clears a lot up so yeah basically avx offsets no point um at least on evj docks and maybe some other boards but um yeah so avx offsets is no point because um your cpu will downclock regardless of avx loads um so there's no real there's no real purpose and otherwise um i don't know just test your ocs in sse mode in uh OCCT or something. So yeah.